Choose Freedom, choose adventure, choose leisure. <laughs> Hi, Hi campers. campers. Welcome back to the Choose Leisure Most Home channel. My name's Dawn. And my name is Mark. And we are your dedicated handover technicians down here at Choose Leisure Most Homes in Canterbury, Kent. So, Dawn, what have we got behind us today? Well, today we're going to be introducing you to a little bit of luxury. This luxurious Cafago C Tura I 143LE. Yes, and it's built on a lightweight Mercedes chassis and it's an automatic. So we're going to give you a quick review, some say admiration oh, yes. of this beautiful van and we're going to do it right now. So here we are on the near side, um, on the passenger side in the United Kingdom. Look at that Dawn. Ta -da! Step, automatically comes out so you can step up into your luxurious motorhome and similarly when we put it back. Ah, don't have to worry about is my step in, is my step out. Fantastic. Perfect. Diesel filler point is there. You've got this humongous locker here and storage that goes right the way across the other side of the van. Our leisure batteries are just under the panel here. I might even be able to just lift it up for you so you can have a quick look. Two massive great big leisure batteries there. We've got the master shutdown for our uh, batteries there. So if you're storing the van for any length of time, you can shut, shut that down. There's an inverter underneath, oh, centrally placed yeah. um, in the middle as well. So you can uh, go straight off grid, brilliant. Yeah, and you can be you know, using your coffee machine, uh, microwave, all the bits and bobs that you might want to be using with shore power, but actually you're off grid, it's fantastic. Mm. Our water pump is just behind that grate there, which is protected. Yeah, so that's the first locker, which Fabulous. I think is we super like duper. A lot. Yeah. Moving down, we have here the uh, cassette of joy. Oh, um, there it is. Now this there system is. does actually have a SOG system, so um, it's venting all the time. So in theory, you don't need to use chemicals. Personal choice, but with this system, with the SOG system, it's been vented out, things break down naturally with the airflow through it, so you don't okay. need to use the chemicals. So it turns it into like a composting type system. Absolutely, yeah, Brilliant. and it's some, you know, a nice natural way to do it. Yeah. Water filler point is there, so you can put your fresh water in there. Mm -hmm. 170 litre freshwater tank. Crikey, so you really can go for a long period oh, of time yeah. without you, having to worry. It'd be super, you can just go away for, for weeks, you know, it'd be great. Um, oh, look at that. Locker nice locker. And we could put two big uh, 11 or 13k bottles in there. Now I'm looking at that, Marky, and I'm thinking to myself, you can have two bottles in at the same time and then have a switch over when one goes dry. Yep, there's the actual automatic switch over just there. And the regulator, the crush protection regulator is there, but that's an automatic switch over. Just have both bottles open at the same time oh, and great. you don't get an interruption in the gas flow. Fantastic. And obviously great. being an of optional extra for this kind of vehicles, you can have a gas low system, refillable system fitted yeah. and that would just set you up, wouldn't it? Yeah, brilliant. And then we had this just Wowzers. huge garage that you can actually put a scooter in. You know, I could just... sleep in there. <laughs> I'm not moving to be fair. But it's just lovely, isn't it? You've got... a lovely carpet lined and it's checker plate hardwaring floor so if you put a scooter in there you know it, it's just wonderful isn't it yeah you've got all the strapping on one side to keep everything in place if there will be uh with the Catago, with your sort of starter pack that comes with the van you get tie downs as well so you get really oh, sturdy yeah. bolted tie downs for it as well so it's great yeah brilliant space lovely so on to the rear then mark and here we are, and look at this, well, it's even here, you've got that beautiful great big Catargo logo, mm. tell everybody what you've got, which I just yeah, like to look at. Oh. Mercedes badge, and just, again, this lovely design, these design features on this are just super. Got a reversing camera with a rear view um, brake light up the top there as well, so people can see in traffic if you're stopping, but just look at that design, just super yeah. sharp, isn't it? It Love is it. lovely. So here we are, Dawn, on the offside or the driver's side for United Kingdom right-hand drive vehicles. Again, another super-sized garage door, which Ooh, you can slide yeah. a full-size scooter into. Um, in here, we have all our electronics hidden behind this grill here, so it's protected. You've got your charger, 12-volt fuses, um, mains consumer uh, unit behind there as well. We've got an exterior shower, which I like, oh, um, and yeah. that's really cool. So you can be, yeah, and an interior light as well, which you can turn on and off there. 
awning handles in there. But yeah, what a super space to Yeah, I like save. the fact that's all in one place. That's really convenient, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? And easy to get to. This is what I like. Yeah. Easy to get to. Moving, continue down this uh, driver's side or um, offside. We have our main hookup point there. Yep. The vent for our Truma boiler. Fridge vent is just there. And Classy decals, of course. Sweeping on down. We have another storage locker, which is oh, great. So you, can just, yep, so you can put all your wet leads and boots or whatever you want to put in there as well. That's mm. terrific. Um, not short for storage on this van, are you? It's just like uh, such it a is great built size. For touring, isn't it? It's built for Europe. Habitation door, as we all know. And then a front locker as well, which you can store bits and bobs in. You can put long articles through. Oh, so if you but have fishing you... rods or something, you could put them through there, couldn't you? Because it goes right the way across. Yeah, but it just gives another extra little uh, space and an exit to get or an entrance to get into it as well. So that's brilliant. Very yeah. nice. And you that's your... Got a that's really your... lovely awning up there as well. So if you've got your, you know, barbecue going in the summer and Deck you chairs, want a bit of shading. Deck chairs, tables. Yeah, yeah no, nice. it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, so I think that's us on the outside. Let's have a look on the inside. Yeah, great. Are we ready, campers, for the big reveal? Are we? I think we are. Look at this. You ready? Oh. Da -da. Look at that, dog. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, luxurious van. And actually, just on the way in, if you back up just a smidge. I will do. I can show you. Yeah. Underneath here, conveniently placed right by the habitation door, under this first panel you've come to, You've got a series of drains underneath there. If I step in, yep. then I can show you. Oh, You've got yeah, the boiler drain, the tap drain to help drain down all your pipe work, and then a waste drain on the far left-hand side there. So you've got all your drains. Well, I say most of your drains. There's a freshwater drain underneath another panel further back in the van, but that's three of your main uh, drains right there. See, that's, that's a nice space as well, isn't it? Because you've got um, another kind of almost wet locker yeah exactly i'm thinking wine cellar dawn as well but then you know where i go with it. yes so moving further on if you follow me in dawn yeah. we do have some more underfloor storage there a little compartment and i'm just going to pop this one up here because underneath here you've got a couple of important uh, items we have our fresh water drain here that's your fresh water drain okay your um fresh water um tank Yes. And the inspection cap. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. And you've got your waste tank here with the inspection can there. So, yes, yeah, so you can easily get into them and clean them, put, you know, your cleaning chemicals in there and just, yeah, maintenance and service them through there. Yeah. Fantastic. So here you find me, Dawn. Look, <laughs> luxuriating once again in one of these wonderful motomes. Look at this Catargo interior. Beautiful, <sighs> this soft leather and sort of supportive material i literally have one word to say about this mark and that is wow it is a wow isn't it it's just it it's really just beautiful wow. and if i just undo this little lever underneath the table you can just slot this around spin oh, him around yeah. get him into any position that you want him to be in six people sitting here drinks card games it's just wonderful you could definitely lose your shirt in here couldn't you with a game of poker with all your friends that'd be wonderful <laughs> But look at that. The um, seat will actually lift up so you can access below there, get some more storage underneath there. The it's cabinets, just, just a beautiful cabinets. place to be. That kind of that gloss Ivory finish. gloss. Yeah. yeah. It is wonderful, isn't it? The and whole colour scheme in here is really beautifully, natural, it's really neutral gorgeous. and it's it's really, really pretty. The deep. lighting sets it off. It's just beautiful. And look how deep they are. Look, I mean, just like that's, that's just, half an arm. That's, that's quite deep. That's, that's going deep. That's amazing. And again, you know, this really sturdy, beautiful locks. This Nothing's going to fall out when you're traveling along. Cabinetry. Look at those sturdy springs and brackets. They're just not going to be springing open on you, are they? It's just... You do well like a good mar you do like a good bracket, don't you, Marky? I do like an old bracket. You can't go wrong, or even a new bracket. It is, it is great. I and like the little finishing touches, like you've yeah. still got coat hooks just by the door, which is exactly and, where and, you need them. And with the C, the Catargo uh, signature moniker on there, you know, just oh, it's just great, isn't it? Yeah, it's super. You even have Ooh, we found a there. hidden TV. Look at that. Oh, nice ooh. TV just there. So. Oh, how Slim great line, is Jelly. that? Oh, it's just pucker, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you could be sitting here in this lounge 
watching the TV. Yes. So you could have the England game on the background, a few beers around the table and a poker game. Absolutely. And that that's, would be your ideal that, night out. Is that what you're saying? Is that slight? That's right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good night in at the Catargo, isn't and it? That Super. just closes back in there. Especially if England win. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great. No, I really like this space. So where are we going to go next? What are we going to show the cameras next, Mark? Let's have a look at the kitchen. Let's Perfect. have a look at it. So here we are in the galley kitchen. Um, have a wonderful three burner hob. Look at that. That's just wonderful. And look at those rests. You know, they're so heavy. Lovely, beautiful, nice great big sturdy. rests. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean, that's just super. Um, further down, we have a oh. oven and grill. So we've got an oven and grill as well. Absolutely marvellous. Uh, they've bought the Prosecco for us already, oh, Dawn, so we can... Oh, I'm sure we're going to have a little... might have to go and use it. Yes, we might have a little sniff of that before we finish the review. Nylon, heavy-duty nylon cutting board on the other side of your uh, cover for there. the sink. And again, you've got a full-size sink. I'm getting a bit closer for you, Cam, which you is can absolutely see the lovely. sink. Yeah, that works beautifully as well. So you've got a two-part two section there to Very cover nice. that. Lovely little swan neck um, mixer tap. And you get extra work surface space if you cover the sink up. Yeah, and that's great as well. You've got a main supply light switch there. I'll just move that Prosecco back into the corner. Uh, cheers, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and behold. <gasps> da -da 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 -da. Coffee maker. Oh, great. A coffee maker. Which, yeah, which runs off your inverter, so it can be run on 12 volts. So if you are off the grid, you can still use your coffee maker. Yes, so you can be using it straight through the inverter. All And, and with your mains uh, 230 plugs, your household three pin plugs will all work off of your inverter. And that's so, not just in one particular um, socket, is it? No, that's, that's in all of them throughout the vehicle. All of your three pin mains plugs will work off of the inverter if you're at a race meeting or if you're at a camping club. Uh, Maybe you're up in the meet. Alps and you're skiing. Absolutely, yeah. It's, mm. it's great. And again, we've got a lovely size cupboard here. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably, what's that, a third of an arm? <laughs> it's not half an arm. But, uh, and again, I'm just touching the back of that cupboard. You've got this soft, insulating, climate control uh, material coming around the back of the, okay. the cupboards so as well. it goes through all of the surfaces, that's all the walls. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Massive, great big three-tier drawer soft set clothes? there. Soft clothes. I feel like I want to put a over there just a, as a little swoosh as it goes away um yeah look at that lovely size fridge as well Ooh. beautiful size fridge uh, and freezer, freezer box. box as well which will open both ways again mm. so does the so does the fridge the fridge goes both ways so you don't even have to get out of the bed to have a beer no it's just great get a cold on from bed i like things that go both ways it's always more exciting <laughs> um, yeah, so that's your galley, that's your kitchen. So maybe we'll have a quick look at the uh, shower room and uh, yeah, have a look at that next. So here we are, we're just about to enter this lovely washroom. And Dawn, look at this lovely wide door. And what does it do? It fills this void here, fills this space. It's a magnet on the top. And then you've got, now this is a big changing room, you know. Changing I could do the space. Macarena in here. You know, and get away with it, I think. Because look at that. What a super size. That's just wonderful. And then we've got a fully enclosed shower. So if I just undo the clip and start pulling the shower around, the actual shower door around, close that over to that side, and then spin that all the way around. And you've got a fully enclosed TARDIS, I think. I feel like somebody should be beaming me up <laughs> but yeah so that's wonderful that just works really really great love that that yeah, just folds nice. back in there you've got your mixer tap on the shower uh, a little hanging rail to dry wet clothes wet towels a roof vent to get more extra ventilation and what else have we got in store here oh hello we've got lots of oh hello <laughs> I vacated the bathroom dawn so you can see what we've got inside. We've got wonderful storage underneath that yeah. lovely curved nice shape. Big cabinet. On that cabinet, yeah, double door there. Um, the loo will spin around for you so you can get yourself in a comfortable position. Yeah. The flush is there, mixer tap, lovely well lit space, and nice the double mirror. mirrors Ooh. kind of give it an extra almost like effect that you've got a much bigger bathroom as well having said that that is a super size but more storage up there for toothpaste brushes 
Yeah, yeah. you've got a nice easy. big vanity mirror, and yeah. you've even got kind of little cubby holes. Now it looks like it's double storage, but it's not. It's actually a single storage because of the mirror. Again, that mirror, that illusion, gives you even more space, yeah. doesn't it? That is a big washroom, and it gives you that extra illusion as well. No, yeah, I like it's that. really nice, and it's very bright in there. It's nice, good space. So look at that, Dawn. That is just a super size bed, isn't it? But that yeah. middle section, the stairs, those kind of steps will pull out towards I you. I'll show you campers, the big reveal of the big bed. Ooh. That will pull out. You've got a middle cushion that will just fit into yeah. there. And then you've got, it's more than a king size bed. That's, I don't know it's what that huge. is. It's like a, huge. A, it's got two singles and then a bit in the middle. It makes it mahosive. Yeah. You've also got storage underneath, haven't you? So you can get access to both of your wardrobes. So I'll just push this back, campers, so we can have a quick look, because this obviously doubles up as your steps to get in and out of the bed. But just here, you can actually, you can actually get into your wardrobe. So you can access the wardrobe there, or and you can actually open it from here as well. So you've got a door that. that you can open. That's the middle cushion that makes up that bed. And it all stows in there, in there quite nicely. Look That's at that. Nice. All stows away. Hanging bar. And and again, look how deep this is. So it drops right the way down to the floor because you've got this double skin floor. So you've got pretty much kind of underfloor heating um, because of all the heating vents underneath there. This double skin floor. So it's an insulated Underneath floor. that, what you, can't, what you can see actually is that behind that cushion there is a shelf so that actually puts into the wardrobe space you can make that as a shelf so yeah. you don't want it hanging quite if you don't want that full length hang oh no, that's uh and then again this side some people prefer a full length hang some, some people might prefer the um oh look at that shelf. see you get with the cathargos not only do you get infill cushions for the front bed of course but you get cushions and you get bedding. Yep. And, and you get a blanket. And it's all tucked in there. All lovely Cathargo extras that come with this That's super it. bed. And this is five star luxury, luxury camping, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's all very well built. And also in the bedroom. Na, 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 na. Well, we have another Not television. Another telly. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? So you've got one there, one in the front. Serves both areas, doesn't it? Yeah. And you can be watching two different channels. So if somebody went to bed, close this massive door here. People could be in the front there, in the lounge, watching that. And you can be watching yeah. a separate TV station. Yeah, exactly. So if to. one of you likes your soaps and the other one really doesn't, then yeah. you've got a choice of different shows to watch at the same time. Again, lovely lighting in the back here. All this under cabinetry lighting. That super ivory colored gloss door cupboards you know yeah. this is it just loads of storage wonderful. huge great big bed really roof well vent. lit roof vent above the bed so you can stargaze as well and just yeah. get lots of fresh air in it's a really nice space in it mark i really like this usb chargers underneath that rear cabinet there's a mains uh, plug socket underneath there as well it, everything you need yeah, I'm just showing the campers what you're saying. So there we go. Oh, there they are. That's the light switch and the USBs and everything underneath there. Fantastic. But Great it's, space. It's just luxurious camping. This is this is the pinnacle, isn't it? This is the top of the tree. Um, yeah, they are just a wonderful van. So here, Dawn, under this really lovely smoke-coloured Perspex screen, you have all of your control panels yeah. starting from my right hand side uh, we have the Dometic control panel for the inverter oh so you can turn it on and off from the panel rather than the box there's a switch on the on the inverter so you can turn it off if you're not using it at all you can have it on or you can have another position of, on the switch and you can control and turn the inverter on and off oh, from this control panel there genius in the middle we have our sort of habitation control panel mm -hmm. and we can see what the state of charge of your batteries and how much water you've got and all that sort of thing uh, the truma panel just controls the boiler for your environment for your heating and hot water mm -hmm. and the panel on the end is like a gas monitor in some ways because mm -hmm. if you there's a little rocker switch here if i push it down to the bottom at the moment we know we've got no gas bottles in it's saying i've got no gas it gone, it's gone red. If I put it into that position, normally with the ga gas bottles in and full, it would be green to so show you've got gas. Um, you can still use your gas appliances uh, with the switch in the middle. If I push the rocker switch to the top, we then 
heat the regulator within ah. that gas locker. Yeah. So if you're at altitude, if you're in the black forest in the middle of January, your uh, regulator won't freeze up and you've got a, a regular gas supply. Yeah, so always all up well there. thought out for all styles of camping in all weathers. And just perfectly placed above the habitation door, the sort of centre part of the van, and that's your whole control centre just there. Nice. Fantastic. <laughs> well, what do we think of this yeah, one? It's terrific, isn't it? It's just this smart line plus furniture in here. It's just mm. fantastic. Comfy to sit in. We're luxuriating in this wonderful five star space. It's just mm. fantastic. Um, Cathargo, if you're driving this vehicle, the visibility. Yeah. Cathargo make a point of having this wonderful all round vision driving a van you know it this, is this it, size. there's so much light and so much space coming around from this cab it's it's incredible actually it's just yeah it's, it, wonderful. it's a good point well made also what i really like mark is the functionality of the fact the floor is all one level there's yeah. no steps absolutely yeah how yeah. many times a day do we trip over oh, steps? forever up and down up and down and underneath that and that space that they give you not only does it give you an insulated uh layer so you've got your heating pipes underneath this. So you've got basically underfloor heating. Mm. You've got the compartments underneath there, the panels that lift up that you can access all of your points. Hidden you, storage. Yeah, hidden storage. Easy access drains. The drains, yeah, it, it just works wonderfully. Um, further down in the floor, there's a 150 litre freshwater tank. I think I said 170 earlier. It's a 150 freshwater tank, 140 waste. It's just that's just like a swimming pool. Yes. It's like having a jacuzzi yes. on board. It, you know, that's a lot of, of, of water that you can go away with. Yeah. As long as you like. It caters yeah. for every style of camping, doesn't it? Yeah. It's Long-term. really built for, for touring. So yeah. if whether you're in the UK or whether you are going into Europe, whether you're going up into the mountains or maybe you're going to the beach or maybe you're going yeah. somewhere in Italy, it doesn't make any difference. Wherever you go in this van, you you're going to be travelling in style and it's going to suit practicality-wise everything you need it to do. <laughs> it's and then, brilliant. And then when you turn up to a campsite, you just go, I'm in a Cathargo. Yeah, yes. and everyone else will be saying exactly yes. what I said yeah. earlier. Wow. Wow, yeah, because it is. that's just, what it, it is. It, it's what it so you. pretty. Yeah, it's, it's so light. It's, yeah. everything's just streamlined and just the right, it's just bang on quality. It's fantastic. It really, really and is. And the storage in the back I like as well, Dawn. So, you know, if you, if you did... Scooter garage. Yeah, exactly. If you We're park up somewhere like and you could grab a little <laughs> scooter, just buzz around the Champs-Élysées or down in Marseille or Nice or Cannes, you know, wherever you want to go, from, you know, to start in Calais and, you know, the continent is just opens up in front of you with one of these vans it is wonderful i like the idea of the bed at the back as well because you can have it as two singles um so if you're a bit hot and bothered yeah. or you're worried about tripping over each other yeah. to get to the loo in Not the middle of the night exactly but you can still make it into a huge great big double bed yeah and you know and that's that, just perfect and that lovely wide bathroom door that swings open you've to got give a you the private privacy. yeah you've got a private changing space which just works yeah great as well you know yeah just, it's, it's, it's what's not to like about this van. I know, but we are biased because generally, how many fans do we like, Mark? All of them. I think we like all of them. We do. We, we are yeah. we are fans of camping and caravanning. We, we, we do, and we, we do do it as yeah. well. Yeah, not I together. No, <laughs> I quite often do it. But, you know, with my partner, and we go away and have a great time. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's really um, fun. yeah. so it's just wonderful. Um, if you like this van and you like what you see, join us on this Two Leisure Motorhome channel. Um, subscribe and like yep um, don't forget you can visit the website we are our cathargo dealer main dealer yes. so if there's something about this van that you like there's some, maybe something that you're not too sure on maybe you want it in left hand drive instead of right hand drive maybe you don't want it on a mercedes you want it on a fit or maybe you want a different layout come and speak to the guys in the showroom or visit the website because there is so much choice and a van for everybody isn't exactly. there at price point at, exactly. at a layout that might suit you yeah so yeah chat to one of the sales guys, look at the, the website, www.chooseleisure.co.uk. And as Mark said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on us while he's Absolutely. creating more content later <laughs> on down the line. And uh, give us the thumbs up. Um, and in the meantime, campers, carry, carry on, on camping. camping.